As the Mekong enters Laos, the first city it encounters is Luang Prabang. It stands at an altitude of 700 meters and is only now starting to come back to life and entering the modern world after several decades of wars and revolutions. The richness of its traditional architecture, represented by 32 temples and the colonial buildings constructed by the French in the 1920s, meant that in 1995 UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site. In order to conserve the style of the city, UNESCO is working with two French and five Louisian architects who are in charge of classifying and restoring existing buildings and making sure new buildings are in keeping with the architecture of the city. In this way, the city will remain the sanctuary of the last dreamers. The wats or centers of prayer are the most exquisite refined examples of the architecture of Laos. Here, the young monks begin their Buddhist education, are taught to live in accordance with their monastic vows, to pray and to meditate. They must follow 227 precepts as part of the monastic discipline, and if eventually they do take holy orders, their family will gain great merit and prestige. Socially, it is considered appropriate for young Buddhists to be monks for a short period of their lives, normally three months, during which time they must obey ten vows, including the traditional prohibition on stealing, laziness, murder, intoxication, and sexual relations. They are also forbidden to eat after midnight, dance, dress up or wear perfume, sleep in raised beds, or accept money for personal use. All the possessions of a monk must come from the charity of a layperson, who in turn hopes to improve his luck and ensure at least a certain number of reincarnations. These efforts to gain spiritual approbation are in Laos as important as religious activity itself. At the end of the day, the monks line up before Buddha and intoning monotonous chants, recite the mantras, the prayers which help free them from desire and the senses through moderation, renunciation and meditation, and in this way achieve the qualities of conscience, goodness and wisdom. Buddhism, more than a religion, is a philosophy or a path whose final and only aim is to reach nirvana, the negation of all causes of suffering, dissatisfaction and illness. <laughs> 